Hey, what's going on, Virgos? Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's see what's going on with you guys energetically for this good old Sunday, okay? So don't forget, flip the rolls, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment. Don't force nothing to fit, you guys. Also remember that these are collective messages. Everything in it may not be for you, so you get in where you fit in. If you don't fit in, it's all good, okay? Now, if you're triggered by something, that's your higher self asking you to check in, okay? These are the areas of your life that you should be working on so that your soul can continue to evolve, right? Because this is a part of your spiritual journey, all right? Your life purpose, okay? So let's see what's happening for you guys this Sunday in your world. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, angelic guides for guiding me, protecting me. Also close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine will. Thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly for my Virgos. Thank you that my true guides are here with me and protecting my throat chakra and my energy. And so it is. All right. So when it comes to what? the community, third party type situations, um, your soul tribe, celebrations, things like that. It's some area here where there's some healing that needs to take place with the healer of ages in the reverse next to the angel of love. Okay, and what I see here is like whatever this connection is that you have with someone, um, there's something going on. So I'm gonna pull my tarot though just to see what's happening here. With where's the disconnect um, taking place here? What needs to be healed? It's like a feeling of this, like, yeah, this um, unrequited love or disconnect in the matters of the heart. Okay. Now, here we go. Thank you. Tell me about the community card. The King of Pentacles reversed next to the Ace of Wands. Okay, so whoever this masculine energy is coming through, I do feel as though, and I want to I want to elaborate more on why they why they are coming out as a King of Pentacles reverse. Okay, um. This person may not feel very secure or they are mismanaging some things here. And instead of them physically starting something new here or staying inspired, it's like they're in the reverse position. Okay, so this one, this is someone that could be preoccupied by material things, other people, money, things like that. So tell me about the King of Pentacles reverse. Patience in the waiting game, right? So it's taken a lot of patience. This was actually in the reverse position. So it's something here that could be making you very impatient when it comes to this situation because you've been in this waiting game with this person. It's like you work really hard with certain areas of your life and you're waiting to see some type of results here. But of course, it's like this person's coming out as a king of pentacles reverse. So normally they are someone who does stuff for their own personal gain. It's not really for coming together and working with other people. It's just like they they need they want it for themselves, right? Um, sometimes they can be very stubborn, okay? But however, what I'm seeing here is that you are, it's, it is, it's taking a lot of patience because this person is a part of your soul tribe. Like you really do feel the connection with them. But when it comes to physically starting something new with this person, it's just like they're hesitant. Yeah, Lee, I hate when it happens, y'all. It's like they're hesitant or something here. Hold on one second. I can't even use these cards no more. They didn't flew all the way across the room. So I'm just gonna put them to the side. All right, so tell me about the healer of the ages. I don't even think I even got a chance to use them. Oh my god, that was so rude. Yeah, I did use it. Tell me about the healer of ages in the reverse. The star card comes out. So what I'm seeing here is like, you are being tested. But what I feel like is, it's this feeling of hopelessness or despair that sets in when it comes to this connection here. Why is that? The high priestess comes out. Tell me more. It's a lot of stuff that you may keep hitting or you keep to yourself. You don't say a lot of what is really actually, you know, what you're feeling is what I'm seeing. It's like even with the full card coming out in the reverse, you may 
be hesitant about taking that chance to express some aspects about yourself here or what you're feeling here it's like i feel like you more keep it in your head but i do feel like you also have been trying to remain patient within this situation here but it's just something here where you get a little block in your intuition when it comes to this particular person here so listen to your inner voice is what you're being guided to do this is like what the lesson is it feels like more about you going within to really figure out and get to the bottom of why you may feel this way or what begins to repress your um, intuition when it comes to this connection with the three of pentacles here in a reverse position okay because it's like when it comes to you guys working together you end up being disappointed in some kind of way it feels like whatever happens it's like y'all just be missing the mark that's just how i see it it's like you could be good one minute and then the next minute it's off it's somewhere somebody just doesn't meet i don't want to say meet out of eye but it's somewhere somebody just either gets overwhelmed or overburdened or something here and it's that unrequited situation it's like it's not enough to keep it going okay i got um the ten of wands in the reverse like i was showing you guys and again it's like you feel like you're flogging a dead horse with this thing right it's like i keep trying and i keep getting into the same position it's like we keep getting stuck someone may not communicate or the distance becomes in between you two or you feel the disconnect and you can feel it between each other so it makes it kind of hard for you to probably come in and communicate with this person because you can feel this disconnect you can feel that certain things are different and it, it, it can bother you so i think what i'm feeling is like you may be like literally trying to go within and trying to really understand some things here um just taking a step back for a second you know I, I do feel like some of you are trying to go within and see what this is about right and that's a that's that's a good thing right because that is one of the practices of self-love too right um as well but again with the hangman coming out that's what you're doing it's like either if you aren't you should it's like this is a time for a pause stillness but i, I do feel or sense that you know that you need to get still at this moment to really try to see this from a different perspective okay um and if not of course if you're feeling trapped or confined or if you're feeling like there's limits then you need to go within just to see what's going on here just start with yourself don't even try to figure out this other person's um part okay because you're not going to be able to the only thing that you can do is figure out your side of the world and that's it tell me about the angel of love well, the fortune in a reverse position. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. It just seems like instead of things getting better, things just keep taking it. It just keeps flip-flopping. One minute, boom, you on the other side. Next minute, boom, you're back on this side here where things take us, where it's unexpected changes or things take a turn for the worse or whatever is happening, right? Um, hmm. <sighs> At some points, I feel like you may be like, all right, I'm going to just hope things get better and return back to normal. You're probably trying to stay optimistic about this, but it just seems that it's not happening. The moon card comes in a reverse position. So some things are going to be brought to the surface for you, right? Try to see through the illusions um, as well, because I do feel like it's some truths that's coming through. Here go the King of Pentacles again in a reverse. This person literally just kind of like, either puts everything else before it's like they mismanage you it's like they more a focus on what's happening in their material world or what's happening within that situation like your karmic situation could be the focus of money jobs things like that even people and when you take a look at the relationship it's like yeah you may feel like you're being mismanaged in some kind of way or like they're not they're dismissing you Show me what I need to see. Seven of Wands comes out. The Knight of Swords is in a reverse. And the Queen of Cups upright. And that's what literally it is. It's like... 
I feel like you be standing on what you believe in. I feel like you stand your ground for the most part. It's like when this person challenges you with something, whatever the belief systems are that you may have, I feel like you challenge them back. It's like it can be quite competitive between you two, but you you be prepared. It's like you're not going to back down on what you believe in. Whatever it could be, like you could have had a conversation, you guys don't agree, but you're still like, look, this is what I feel, like, you know, hear me out, type things like that. And I do feel like it brings a lot of pressure on this other person and they may end up doubting themselves. And then they start, you know, getting withdrawn. They stop fighting for what they believe in. Okay. And then they become aggressive or they become rude or they become dismissive or they become defensive, right? Or they try to control this situation by pulling back. Like, it's like, it's like a habit is what I'm hearing. It's like a bad habit of theirs where they'll start to withdraw their energy. Um, and that's where that disconnect comes in and you can feel it. Okay. And it's like, you're so eager, you know, to establish certain goals with this person, to share certain ideas with this person. And you don't really care about the challenges, but you just feel like, you know, change, hey, look at it, see, you know, see what my point of view, right? Things like that. But they can't handle that. That's just how I'm seeing it. And it's like coming in with that Queen of Cups, I feel like you do a lot of things based off of your intuition. Like you do a lot of things based off of that feeling, right? You're highly intuitive. So a lot of the knowledge or a lot of what you're getting is esoteric, right? This is what makes you balanced. And this is where the wisdom comes from. And for some odd reason, it, it's challenging, okay, for this other person, all right, in your life. But this is why you keep seeing this unrequited situation or this disconnect, okay? Um, you do gotta make certain decisions and I feel like that also becomes a problem too because I, you be like, I love this person or this is my people, they make me happy with the lovers and the nine of cups coming out, right? And it's like, but you know, at some point it's like, you gotta make a decision because at the end of the day, this unrequited situation or being dismissed, it bothers you. And you're trying to make a healthy a choice for yourself where it can still be that medium of happiness, right? Without it being you operating in those same old patterns and habits, right? As the heel of ages comes out in the reverse, right? Still operating from that manner of the unhealed space. And if you are not and you're still operating from that unhealed space, you gotta do the work, okay? Because this is about your soul's evolution. And I feel like this person is just a mere reflection of you. And it's challenging you to also face those aspects of yourself that is keeping you from being able to fully move forward. Okay. This person may be very passive aggressive. Let me see something here. Feel like you may be like a not so passive aggressive person you're more like aggressive kind of like straightforward like yeah and you stand your ground it's like nah that's how i feel like and you're not that type of person yeah very expressive is how i'm feeling for some of you okay judgment comes out with my eye And it could come across to you as you being judgmental, but I don't feel like that's your intent. I think that's just how you express yourself for real. It's intense. So you've been carrying around the weight of the world. I'm going to just read it from the book and then we'll make sense out of it um, as we go. But you've been carrying around the weight of the world on your shoulders. Your heart feels so heavy with the responsibility of burdens forced upon you and the love you so freely give and yet do not receive. You have always stood for justice, truth, and morality, and your heart is set in that others around you do not adhere to the same principles. And that's what I was speaking about. It's like you may it's not like you're trying to force your ideas, but it's like, hey, look, you know, see it my see it my way for a second. See how things are working on, on my side of the world. And I feel like this person may dismiss that. It's like almost as if 
what you're saying doesn't matter because they don't believe, right? And then you end up, you know, clashing and you end up feeling heavy in your heart in some kind of way or burdened by the situation in some kind of way, right? And it saddens you, okay? It makes you feel unbalanced, like you don't have any control as well, okay? And I feel like, again, like I said, the energy is being mirrored back and forth to each other. Um, so what my act comes in to do is to remove anything that is unbalanced in your life. Others are judging you for what you are trying to achieve. My act asks you to destroy untruths by becoming the judge of your own life. Time to feel as light as a feather as you unburden your heart from wrongdoings of others. The day of judgment has finally arrived. All right, so this is the day. The universe is judging, all right, heavily <laughs> as well about your situation because it's either like, I don't want to say you could even be now judging yourself a little harshly when it comes to the situation in this person. But it says avoid criticizing the efforts of others. Um, you have been judging yourself too harshly or someone is keeping the truth from you. But don't be afraid to speak up. Your honesty will ensure the desired outcome. The worst is now behind you. Keep your material and spiritual life in balance. So let me pull some tarot on the judgment card. On my yacht, tell me about this. Why is Virgo feeling unbalanced? Queen of Cups comes out again. The Knight of Swords in the reverse. The Seven of Wands. And the King of Pentacles upright. And what it feels like here, again, is because your emotions are in this most definitely. But it's balanced. Okay? And when it comes to this person... They may be quite, like I said, that passive aggressive energy. They could be um, controlling in a way and, and not really, how can I say it? Not really as direct. Let's just put it this way. They're not direct. It almost feels as if they're dismissive. Okay. And you pretty much, again, like I said, you try to stand up for what you believe in and, and, and express yourselves in these ways. But it's also, it's also making you feel like it's just too much you understand it's just too much um with this i feel like you may go back and forth like i'm gonna fight for this to like i don't know right it's too much it's like you got you know what you want you know what you can see you want to translate your vision into something tangible here but then again it's like you feel like again that this person could be not prioritizing you when you come forward to express some of these aspects of yourself as the queen of cups would be right the emotional side the vulnerable side you know the, the intuitive side you know that part of you you express and it seems like and and what i just heard is like why does virgo if we go deep where does this dismissiveness start in Virgo's life to make them feel like they're not being make them feel like they're being disregarded where did this begin the tower comes out the six of wands in a reverse so you went through some type of um upheaval I'm also seeing that you may have even reached like significant personal milestones in your life okay um it's a lot of things that you keep to yourself especially when you reach certain milestones it's like you don't look for the public acknowledgement of it because you may feel like what you do do is not i don't want to say that you feel it like but the people around you the people that you love may have dismissed you discredit you um in your childhood is also what i'm hearing okay so it kind of made you feel like not so proud of the things that you achieved or it made you feel like you didn't really believe in who you are because i'm pulling in like family members parents or however may have always you know dismissed your efforts like it wasn't as important as the next person like what you were doing was just basic right wasn't enough um and i do feel like that's why you now kind of like keep a lot of things to yourself 
you not you don't express you don't open yourself up especially when you're doing certain things and i feel like you may even pay attention to certain people's behaviors if you do it's like if you may tell somebody oh look i'm doing this or i did that and their response may not be you know exciting or they may act like they don't hear you or you're telling them about something you did that's great and they be like oh you understand so you you pay attention to those things so you begin to just kind of like keep these these personal things to yourself the milestones the ideas whatever to yourself right but this has been going on for a while and now you're at this point where you're reaching important milestones in your life and you're achieving some very significant goals okay i feel like you may even be receiving public acknowledgement for your efforts as well putting yourself out there and everything okay and here with the eight of swords coming out in the reverse and the tower card coming beside it it's like this is where those limiting self-beliefs stem from it stem from when you were younger not being acknowledged okay not getting the recognition from the people that you thought should be proud of you okay and that's how it's like it, it really prevents you from being able to move forward because you may even now begin to tell yourself like I don't want to say that you don't deserve it, but it's more like, you know, it's not that it's not, it's not, it doesn't even really matter. You know, who cares anyway? Like one of those type energies is what I'm feeling. And with the tower here coming out, like I, I think I just showed you guys this, but I'm showing it to you again. You have had a lot of sudden changes in your life. Okay. From divorce to death of loved ones to financial failures to health problems. All right, and even for some of you, natural disasters, job losses, things like that, things that have shook you to your core, things that you have tried to prevent in your life, but it's now like you're on this new spiritual path and you're developing certain belief systems and values for yourself right now. And what I'm seeing is like the universe is instigating some change to pull this up out of you. Like I said earlier, I feel like you're being tested and that's what's happening. The universe is trying to pull this up out of you because you, for some of you, you are reaching these major milestones and you're in the public limelight. You're in the, you're in the, the public eye is what I'm trying to say. And so what I'm hearing is that they want you to be proud of what you are achieving and to believe in who you are. And this is why this is coming to you in this manner. This is why you feel this way, especially when it comes to whoever this person is in your life. So why do they dismiss Virgo? The moon card comes out in a reverse. Fear. Their own fears, their own anxieties. Tell me more about the moon. Illusions. I need to get something to drink. It's getting kind of warm in here. Second, y'all. Illusions, three of swords comes out. Their own grief around what? Tell me about this. Seven of swords comes out. And of course, what is that? <sighs> It's like, and I don't, I, it feels like more of a feeling of them wearing like a mask or something here, trying to hide some things. Um, and I feel like it's from themselves. That's what I just heard. It's like they wear, the, wear this mask of pretense. Tell me about this. Tell me about this seven of swords.
page of pentacles in a reverse because when it comes to them and their goals and what they're trying to do i want to see what this person's feelings are towards you when it comes to you know their plans for the future and them being ambitious and trying to stay grounded here they're seeing a lack of progress in their life and they're not really showing you um that they're not showing you that they're not showing you that side of themselves that feel you know weak or um feeling like they they are failing or like they're not um, progressing here in a certain way with their own particular goals because they're trying to manifest some things themselves okay um and whatever it is it's like i feel like it's because of their lack of purpose I don't want to say that lack of purpose. Let's just say like their lack of focus or that lack of commitment. Okay, this person seems like it's someone that could be really distracted, really easy by other things, right? Um, and it makes it hard for them to, to commit to one thing. It's like they jump from things to things. Like they have all of these goals and all of these plans, but really sticking to that one to get that to manifest. However, it's like this person still is easily distracted by other things or they allow themselves to mismanage their their relationships, their money and things like that. Here with the six of cups in the reverse next to the five of swords. OK, and because they're so focused on their past failures and how things haven't been working out, this seems to be what's creating the barrier here between you. OK, because they're still clinging to you, these past and outdated habits and customs. And I feel like you may even be trying to show them like a different way of even doing things so that they can begin to manifest here those um financial opportunities or skills and things like that that they're looking for. OK, and. You're trying to show them another way to focus that energy or how to redirect that energy in some kind of way, all right? But it's creating the conflict. It's like because they're, they're kind of still stuck in that past energy, then you guys end up having some type of disagreement or end up being some type of tension or something here between y'all with the Five of Swords, okay? And really, a lot of it here is just about them converting their weaknesses into strengths and that's what i'm seeing it as it's like they're reluctant to carry certain things through because of that it's like when they in the face of adversity yep to a cups in the reverse then you guys become unbenefit this is how you get the disharmony or the imbalance between you two because then now it feels like it's an unfair power dynamic so either it may feel like you're you're doing all of these things you're manifesting your goals and things in life and then boom it doesn't feel equal or they don't feel equal i think it has just a lot to do with their own insecurities it's like you see even here when i read it said others are judging you for what you are trying to achieve So are they judging Virgo for what they're trying to achieve? Why are they judging Virgo for what they're trying to achieve? Queen of Swords in the reverse. Because of trauma. Because of someone else. Six of Wands upright. And it could be also because you're very unbiased in your judgment. And they've dealt with people who are not like that. They could be very cold-hearted, um, allow their emotions to get the best of them. And it's, it's because of those toxic relationships or those manipulative relationships that they have or had, you know, this is what keeps them, they struggle, right? This is why they are always so disconnected. And here you're so resilient. It's like you keep going regardless of the adversity you try to find ways to stay in carriage um through it all and they keep struggling to see the progress ten of cups is in a reverse so it just seems like you guys are just on a different frequency that's how i'm seeing it and that's why they they start to feel like they, they like they're disconnected or they're struggling to communicate some things 
with you and instead of being true to their own values and things like that they just you know you end up being unbalanced let's just say that within the connection you end up feeling the emotional rift between each other here yeah knight of pentacles comes out in the reverse and the knight of swords in the reverse okay so they become impulsive or they got little direction they don't have a real strategy they start to feel set back they start to feel um all of these feelings right and that's where the hill of ages comes out in the reverse. They get all of these feelings and hesitant and everything. And that's what brings this imbalance. Okay. So what is the universe judging about? this conflict five of swords up right next to the nine of wands in reverse the conflict the disagreements and again it's like because when these things happen instead of staying resilient it's like either probably both of y'all start to struggle to keep working towards this goal of working together to stay balanced So what is it that this person is keeping from Virgo? The world card comes out. Tell me about that. It feels like it's just because nothing else is coming. It feels like it's about what the same card spirit give me something different now it feels like it's because like the things that they're trying to achieve the milestones milestones that they're trying to reach here okay they feel like they're incomplete or like they're missing something in their life and again i got the six of cups coming out and the page of wands coming out at the same time so it's all about this stuff is coming from childhood this is and what i heard is like is the word repressed memories or suppressed memories it's like it's stuff from childhood and instead of them letting go of the past and focusing on the future they keep going into their their memory of the past right um the the, the parts that hurt let's just put it that way Tell me about the page of wands. Yeah, it's like you got to be inclined to give anything and everything a go when it comes to embracing the opportunities to start out on a new journey. And this person just doesn't seem to do it. It's like... They want to achieve all these things, but they want to kind of keep doing things the same way. The Knight of Wands is in a reverse position. They don't know how to channel the energy in the right direction to get it done. So they end up acting impulsive or, or they get frustrated because of the delays. And then it ends up being projected back towards you. Then you project the hurt back towards them or you shut down, right? It's just like a back and forth energy and instead of trying these different ways and i feel like you may be trying to expose them to different ways of doing things because you are very clear about what your vision is and what you want it's like you're also turning some of these things your visions into something tangible something that you can actually see that is, is happening but it's like this person is just still not seeing it from your eyes let's just say it like that their perspective and why is that why are they rejecting Virgo's perspective? Page of Cups in the reverse. So, because they don't want you to know, this person is highly intuitive. They're getting the ideas already. 
they just keeping it to themselves. For some odd reason, they don't want you to know that they already intuitively tapped in. I got the magician that comes out too. So they keeping the ideas. It's almost like they're secret, secretly secreting. <laughs> it's like they're secretly trying to manifest these things and they're not showing you that this is what they're doing. It's almost like they're trying to make it seem like they don't believe in it. In it. Why though? And it almost feels like to you, it feels like it's a, they don't want to recognize you. <laughs> they don't want you to, I just seen the six of wands. It's like, they don't want you to know that. I don't know why that's just, it's something from childhood. It's like, they don't want to recognize you. And that dismissive feeling or disregarded feeling is what you're actually feeling. Whatever their illusions are. Because they're the king of swords in the reverse. I'm like, why do they keep it to, from you? Because they lack the structure. They don't really use their head. So when it comes to reasoning and things like that, this person, it's it's a habit. It's a, it's a, it's a, a habit of theirs. Okay. It's a habit of this. It's like they try to stick to the facts. Really, they try to control their emotions. But this person really is highly intuitive. They probably are a dreamer and everything. They daydream. They probably get day visions and night visions. Well, why would they suppress themselves? Because they rebelling. The higher font comes out in the reverse. This person doesn't want to follow, you know, traditional methods. Or they don't want, they rather choose their own path. They rather embrace that. Like they don't want to, their lifestyle and how they do things, they don't want to conform. And that's just how I'm saying it. When it comes to a certain, like even what you're doing with spirituality is almost like conforming to a way of being. And they don't want to conform to that. It's like they are trying to rebel against this part, but this is who they really are. They are highly intuitive. They are connected spiritually. They are um, very profound people is what I'm hearing. But this person is still kind of, look, still set on the losses, five of cups. And maybe it's because this is, they were that before. And they receive, how can I say, it? it's like a lot of trauma and a lot of heartbreak from it or from being that way, especially in childhood is what I just heard. Maybe was teased, maybe was told to suppress those, you know, ideas and in that way of being. Same thing with you not being recognized as a child for certain accomplishments and certain things that you did from your family members and the ones that you love. So it creates a lot of fear and anxiety for this person here um, to even be that, to, to awaken here to who they fully are. And here as a Queen of Pentacles coming through is Virgo. You come through as this healthy balance and you're showing them both aspects of spirituality and the material world, I feel like. And you are abundant. You are. But the way you're doing it, three of cups in the reverse, it's, it's this person rather not do it that way. Tell me about the three of cups reverse. I got to sneeze. <laughs> yeah. They, they would prefer to do it their way. They would prefer to do it alone. They don't... I think this person fears what other people think. Yes. King of Cups reverse. This person is how your person, whoever they are highly intuitive. So they try to hide their emotional intelligence from people when it's going to be their emotional intelligence that's going to help them to attract the wealth. That's going to help them to be balanced, help them to understand their unconscious minds. That's going to help them to balance that energy. You got to be tapped into your intuition in order to be able to do the things and manifest the goals as this person is trying to do. And you're doing it because 
you are operating here in both your intuition and also your logic. So you're doing both and you're showing them like, look, it's working, it's working. But because of them being whatever happened to them and however they were judged growing up or as a child, they suppress this side of themselves. And so now they begin to only look out for themselves. They don't trust other people. They look at it as if, oh no, that's bad advice. So there you have it. Oh, I really was digging into this one, huh? I didn't realize 40 minutes had passed. Show me what I need to see here. Concern. So they're concerned. You're concerned. It's a mature man. This person wants to expand. They want to be able to, you know, do some great things and manifest a lot here in their world. They want to change. But it's fear. What are they concerned about? Six of swords in a reverse. Because of their lack of progress, or they feel like, you know, if they go through this transition, that it's not going to, it's going to be rough. Like they're still feeling like, oh, I may not progress. It's not going to work. It's not going to be stable. So they're running away from the journey. I feel like this person thinks about it, but they run from it. They go back and forth. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't, but they go through so much hardship. Not realizing that the transition is what's going to help them to come out of these troubled waters. The Ten of Swords, Wands in a reverse position here, right? It's like, again, it's like they're so overburdened or they have so many insurmountable problems here, okay? Now, they still be holding on, holding on to people, possessions, issues. I mean, these are deep-seated past issues here that this person is hoarding or that you could be hoarding. I feel like it's something within, like I said, both of you that spirit is trying to pull up out of you. Why you feel disregarded? Why do you feel like this person is either dismissing you? Where is that coming from? Both is stemming from childhood for birth, for both of you, okay? Now, these are deep-seated past issues, y'all. High priest is in the reverse, y'all. That's what represses you in your intuition. Go within. It's time to direct your attention within to get some answers here virgo where's the concerns coming in at again tell me about the concerns the set look seven of swords come out upright the ten of wands come out the seven of swords reverse and the queen of cups upright <laughs> this person is concerned because they know they're trying to hide okay they're either trying to be sneaky, get away with what they're feeling, thinking that, okay, maybe I can, like, not face them. Maybe I can, you know, put on this role that everything is good, but really it isn't. But I'm really burdened, you know, I'm really holding on and carrying a lot of grief and sadness. But shit, because Virgo is the Queen of Cups, already highly intuitive, they already know Virgo can see right through the illusions. Seven of Swords reverse. They already know that you already see the truth. That is already revealed. You already they already know. They know your connections. They know, you know, some of you again are very powerfully intuitive. High priestess. And so they're concerned because they know that you know, right? The reason of why everything is going down the way that it's going. And you you could even be very silent or withdrawn. But I feel like it's because you're going within. You're tapping into your intuition to try to navigate your way through this, to find that compassion so that you can still be supportive here with this person or with the people that you're connected to that may be feeling this way, okay? Tell me about the mature man. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And they're blocking their intuition, right? But they really are high priests. <laughs> I just heard some of you could be dealing with someone who is an air sign, master number 11. They really are high priestess, but they don't want to work on that. They don't have the confidence. All right, strength card. High priestess come out, eight of pentacles in the reverse. When it comes to their willpower, to their inner strength and confidence, when it comes to being to being this very inner, in, in, intuitive person, eight of pentacles, they want to suppress this side of themselves. They feel as though it's like it's a lack of quality or or what's the point of putting effort into this side of myself? It is not going to get me anywhere. You know, it's logic that's going to help me. That's going to be the best guide. Because when I tapped into my emotions and I allow myself to be connected intuitively in my inner knowing and I, they, sorry, they weren't able to, they were neglected. That's how I'm hearing it. But the part that they were missing is that spirit of discernment when it comes to the relationships and the people in their life. They weren't able to discern those people. And because this is a person who is um, very intuitive and very emotional off the back, their emotions are their guide. And this is how they end up connecting with people who are not like them and they end up mistreating them abusing them in some kind of way okay neglecting them and so they decided i'm going to repress this side of myself because all it does is it gets me hurt ain't nobody like you you i'm hearing it like god ain't never show up for me you understand like god allowed me to go through all of this this hurt and this pain if it's a god then you know why am i why was I neglected? Why was I rejected? Why was I abandoned? Whew. Wasn't expecting to be doing all that channeling, y'all. <laughs> I'm getting ready to go watch me some Supernatural. <laughs> Recharge and then come back. I got. I think I got to do one personal reading. I got a pretty easy day. Let me tell y'all. Let me pull one more card for y'all and then I'm out. <laughs> I mixed up all these cards and I did not mean to do that. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you. Thank you. Where we want to go at it? I know where I want to go, but I probably put them up. Let me see. They're not there. Oh, here they go. They are right here. It's overlooking. It's overlooking. You and your loved ones are safe. So just pray and ask that you feel secure and at peace and are filled with faith. Um, so that you can focus on your priorities and enjoy a healthy, happy life for both you and the people that you love, okay? Pay attention to your dreams. You are getting so many downloads. Let me tell y'all, I was dreaming about quite a few people and I ended up, something was like texting this morning and I text, <laughs> I text them and I'm like, is everything okay? They're like, oh my God, you would not believe. <laughs> Pay attention to your dreams, okay? Be gentle with yourself, all right? Continue to nurture yourself. Um, be kind to yourself. Use compassion. Release any feelings of guilt or anything towards you, yourself, or with this other person. Ask your angels to help you with this situation, okay? I'm going to read that one. This situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. 
This card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving your inner peace, your new ideas and your insights. Michael will help you in ingenuous and unexpected ways. So be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. Know that you are powerful. You are not a victim. So release any blame for yourself or others. Focus upon solutions, not problems. Allow other people to help you. Keep an open mind to alternative solutions. So let's say this prayer together, 3.23 p.m. here in Baltimore. But um, I'm going to say it slow, so you can repeat it. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with whatever your situation is. So let's just, I'm going to come up with something. Thank you for assisting me with this person. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. And so it is. All right, Bergy Birds. So y'all enjoy y'all weekend. And if it's your birthday weekend, happy birthday, booze. Okay. Um, and I'll holler at y'all later or even tomorrow. We'll see. But I love you. Peace.